the process implementation phase is then that phase of the life cycle where we need to convert a conceptual process model, for example, a conceptual BPMN model, into its executable counterpart. And this is not necessarily a refinement uh, in the sense that we need to add more information. It is more in general a transformation because we get sometimes a model that is very different from the initial conceptual model. And this phase is critical because it involves two different audiences. On the one hand, we have business analysts that produce conceptual high-level process models that are used for communication purposes. But on the other hand, we have software developers and solution architects that need to create process specifications that are machine readable. So the two models tend to typically be very different from each other. So one is very high level, abstract, uh, because it's typically used for communication, requirements analysis, uh, hence it may be ambiguous. But on the other hand, the executable process model must be a precise specification, because this is how the BPMS will automatically execute it it is not easy to derive an executable process model from a conceptual process model in such a way that the formal truly capture the essence of the latter without creating any unnecessary deviations from the conceptual model.